Hello guys, welcome again to the channel Felipe Coelho. Today I would like to give you a very cool lesson on the use of the hybrid thumb. When I talk about hybrid technique, referring to the thumb, I'm talking about the pick slanting technique which comes from the gypsy pick. I, have, I do have other lessons here on the channel, you can dig around uh, and you'll find more information on the hybrid technique uh, using the thumb. And on this uh, time, I'm going to show you a major seventh arpeggio which can be turned into a, a dominant seven if you want. And it's very simple, but it has great impact. The phrase goes like this. Okay, again. So what's going on here is I'm simply doing twice two attacks per note, and I'm doing a major seven arpeggio. You got one, three, five, major seven. Again, one, three, five, major seven. One, three, five, major seven. So. That's it. Now, if you're dealing with a dominant chord instead, you can do the same thing. Just flatten the major seven into a minor seventh and you get the dominant chord. There it is. That's it. It's a short lesson, but this is very useful. You can do a lot of things with this stuff. You can do maybe three uh, or four uh, um, notes, strokes on each note at a time, like this four, for example. You can do a lot of stuff. You can put this into 16th notes, triplets, quintuplets, sixtuplets, whatever you want. And that's how I like to think about music teaching and learning the guitar, is whenever I see a phrase, I try to multiply it into many other phrases by simply applying a different rhythm to it, or maybe changing one note uh, and maybe turning the, now the uh, dominant seven arpeggio can be turned into a minor seventh arpeggio by flattening the third. What's a major third? Becomes a minor third. And bingo. Sorry. You got a minor seventh arpeggio. So you take one phrase and you multiply it into many other phrases by simply uh, having an analytical look at it. Look at where the rhythm is and what the harmony is and then you begin transforming it using different rhythm and different harmony. And one phrase can become a million phrases. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to support this channel, just please subscribe and I thank you very much. Till next time, guys.